this is the step I take just to create a button that will actually trigger a pro presenter in order to uh, output to, to go you know to output the display of a pro presenter on my on my screen. So what I typically do, I use two program. Uh, this one, which is I use, I'm using the version 2.1.0, which is called uh, uh, Visual Listener. Okay, so Visual Listener. So um, all 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 I do, I put here any port number that you desire, like any any. You can use a default, or you can use any of any of you know any. So once I have uh, uh, installed this little uh, uh, tool, I go to um, let me put that here. So I go to the system preferences of my uh, Mac, and once I get inside the system preferences, I go to keyboard. Okay, I go to keyboard, and I go to shortcuts. And on the shortcuts, I go under visual control. Now here, all the different windows, desktop, or display uh, that I have uh, open on my computer will display over here. So what I do is I attribute a specific uh, a shortcut, like a key. So in this case here, I have on my external display, I have um, um, the desktop 5 that is um, assigned for, um, for uh, ProPresenter. So here, what I do is that I assign my my key, my shortcut on F5. I can put anything I want. I can put F F6. Uh, you have to double click inside first, and then you can put F F F6. You can put any type of you know combination that you want. But I don't know, anything that works for you. So once you do that, uh, for me it's F5. Once you do that, uh, F5. You can see, for example, if I use the shortcut. Okay, which is a uh, control one. I will call this window. If I do control two, is this window? Control three, this window. Control four, this window. And now F five uh, will call the external uh, display. Okay. So once that's done, that you have assigned your uh, shortcut on whatever display you want to do, you want to go inside your uh, companion, right? So you want to go inside your companion, and then <coughs> inside your companion, you're gonna add whatever manufacturer or whatever, or you just simply type in V three O, and then this thing will come out. You want to use this one that says Vitro uh, Art Key. That's the one that I'm using. So once you add that in. Uh, you will be able to see a, a screen like that. So the target IP will be the local IP of the computer, or if you have it on, on another computer, you want to uh, identify the IP of that computer. But in my case, since I have it here right here in the same computer, so I'm gonna either leave default or put in 127.0.0.1. And the port number will be the port number of the uh, big Vicreo, Vicreo, that I actually put over here. So, <coughs> so I'm gonna put the same port number. Once it's done, uh, the label is anything that you want. So that's anything, and I will apply the change, and I go now to my buttons. Uh, I, I assume that you have already a um, presenter inside your system. Okay. So uh, if I go in edit, same thing I have here, my pro presenter inside. And uh, you know, like there's no something really uh, match on pro presenter side. All you have to do is to combine the button with the Vicro listener and your pro presenter. So I assume you have uh, already your pro presenter set it up. And uh, you go now under your buttons. Okay, so in my case here, let me uh, refresh this thing. Okay, so buttons, there you go. So in my case here, what I have is that on the right here, so I have two buttons. One, which is called, excuse me, 
one which is called Bible, one which is called F5 screen switch. In that specific button, what I do, if I go inside, I only put inside a, a color shell, which is the VCREL that you actually put in. So you would type in the name, remember, when, when you come under instances, how you label, okay, how you label your, your, your VCREL. So whatever name that you label, that would be the one that you want to call. So on the buttons, I go in and then I type in, uh, from for me that would be cup shell for you it can be something else so I go to cup shell and I say I want to assign a special key that would be this one okay a special key and then here I'm gonna simply tell the dealer whatever I want I usually put hundred which is a, a better default and then I type in this special key I put that in so I will scroll down and then find the F5 that I have already configured under my under my uh, uh, system preferences where I go on the keyboard okay so on the keyboard and go to the tab the the, the the tab shortcut and then you will go under mission controls and you have to find which desktop your specific uh, representer is being run onto. So once you've done that, uh, again, you will select or uh, attribute or assign your uh, short key. And once that's done, then that's the short key that you call inside your system over here. So that's pretty much what that is. Okay, I'm going to delete this. Uh, that's pretty much what that is. And then that's, that's pretty much what that is. So all I do is that then this one we call directly the screen for for my we to go toggle the screen for my uh pro presenter to be on display now here if i here is different here is if i want to call a specific set then i will call both the screen and i have few additional uh, uh, sets i put inside so in this case here is different in this case here for example what i said is that i will tell to my uh uh, 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 TV switcher. I, uh, I have a uh, uh, ATEM mini. No, no. Yeah, ATEM mini uh, extreme ISO, I believe. So I will tell to that whatever I want it to set up and uh, top presenter. That's actually the the uh, power. I mean, the pro presenter I'm using that I call call pro presenter. And I will put in the slide I want to call in. I will put in the special key that we trigger it on the screen and then and I will send this command over here that will actually send an open app uh, the, the, the app so if I push that button and let me push over here when I push the button that's what happens so my screen will toggle over here and then on my external screen what happened over there is that uh, <coughs> we have the Bible presented to for the people, uh, one for the local, and then another type presented outside for those online. Online, I don't know if I try. <laughs> I'm trying to explain that a bit better again. Anyway, so uh, that's pretty much all. Uh, um, I hope I gave you a little insight on how I do that. If you have questions, please let me know, and I will help you the best I can. Thank you. Bye bye.